I'm going to be reading out loud Mania, a case study. A comic book series from the imaginative team of Alex Studios. I'm wearing the shirt of the main character right now. Mania, a new Renard, your mind is all that matters. Mania is an epic new comic franchise in which advancing technology causes superpowers to manifest from abnormal psychologies. The Origin of a Supermaniac by 2052, New Renard has become an unparalleled technological metropolis. Nearly 30 years have passed since the introduction of the augmented reality check, a personal operating system developed to monitor and regulate the minds of the populace. Since its adoption, crime rates have dropped by over 90% and unrest in the population is virtually gone. The arc is seen by nearly everyone as an unmigated success. For a select few, however, the arc has altered life in a devastating way. Individuals with severe mental disorders or neurosis have reported their arcs snapping, causing changes in their psychology. Those affected by the glitch appear to develop enhanced superhuman abilities as some sort of defense mechanism against the arc's interface. These powers while sometimes harmless, often result in extremely violent or destructive outbursts. The individuals themselves are known for their instability and psychotic episodes, leading the media to dub them supermaniacs. The first recorded occurrence of a supermaniac sent New Renard into a panic and put Fahrenheit Corp, developer of the ARC, in the center of one of the largest debates of the 21st century, Fahrenheit desperate to neutralize the bad press of the glitch, launched an unrelenting campaign to find, regulate, and eventually cure all supermaniacs within New Renard. In the years that followed, all supermaniacs lived in fear. Michael O'Connor is the first of the titular maniacs introduced in Mania. Little more than a local comedian, a series of tragic events forever changed him into the supermaniac known as Jumpstar. With the unique ability to manipulate gravity, Jumpstar has proven himself time and time again to be one of the most powerful and potentially dangerous supermaniacs in history. Midna is the most famous criminal in all of New Renard. Despite her young age, she has a vast record ranging from petty theft to acts of domestic terrorism, broadcasting her crimes to the public via the clandestine net program Midna Live. She uses her powers of persuasion, trickery, and seduction to state her most self-indulgent urges. The most powerful weapon in her arsenal, however, is her ability to implant strong telepathic suggestions in the minds of anyone with whom she locks eyes. Saudi Chahao is a robotics expert and head of R&D at Fahrenheit. Together with Iris, she helped develop the first fully functional fusion generator while her engineering genius can't be matched, Prism's most dangerous tool is the power alluded to her as a supermaniac. With it, she is able to offshoot her surplus thoughts into machines around her, bending them to her will and giving them a consciousness of their own. Dr. Tessa Ignatius is an inventor of the fusion generator and a distinctive supermaniac. Shunned due to her refusal to work with Fahrenheit, Iris is forced to scrape by with an understaffed and underfunded laboratory. Iris wields the ability to alter matter's physical state, allowing her to elude capture and stay one step ahead of her old partner, Prism. Jack of Many Faces is one of the oldest and most feared supermaniacs in New Renard. He serves as Fahrenheit's enforcer and infiltrator. Despite his long list of accomplishments, there are a few who have ever met him face to face and no official documents even mention his name. His almost legendary reputation for sublimity keeps most supermaniacs from even daring to cross Fahrenheit or their associates for fear of Jack showing up at the door unannounced. 
Maxwell L. Raytag is the founder and CEO of Fahrenheit Corporation, a brilliant scientific mind coupled with the shrewd practices of an experienced businessman have allowed Raytag to rise to the top of the economic world. Raytag personally oversees the entirety of New Renard and is credited with the invention of the augmented reality chip. While he plays the perfect diplomat, there are many who suspect the goals of this humble businessman are less than innocent. The enigmatic hacker known as Alex was briefly revealed in the first issue of Mania, but much of his goals and personality have remained a mystery. The truth is, is that he is locked in combat with the monolithic Fahrenheit Corporation and their attempts to exert control over the entire populace of New Renard. Although his motives are unclear, he has quickly proved himself to be a friend to all supermaniacs who refuse to confirm to a Fahrenheit system. Well, that's interesting. We get a glimpse of the hero, the support cast, and the villains. So tune in next time when we get deeper into the story and find out more.